Hello, my name is Joshua Williams. I'm the CFO of Ramu Websites. My wife is the owner. I am also a student at Santa Monica College. This is an example of one of our websites. This, is, this lady is selling shoes. Um, we can make any kind of custom websites for businesses, booking. This is a booking website. As you can see, these are all the photos. And if you wanted to book any of these hairstyles, this is how easy it is. You just hit book now and it'll show you the, the prices, the hairstyle, and you can request a book. So let's request a book one of these hairstyles. And as you can see within seconds, you can book your spot on any day they're available. This is the wave of the future. And please support us. We are a black owned web design company and a black family. Thank you very much. And follow us on Instagram at raw underscore moots underscore websites. Thank you very much. This is our page. Hello, my name is Joshua Williams and I am the founder of Nebula Ramu and welcome to my channel. I will be, this is my first video by the way, and my channel will be based upon black history and black economics. And one is not more important than the other. They're both equally important to our people globally. And the, you know, it's obvious why, you know, um, you have to understand, and this isn't me, this is the conspiracy theory or nothing that I'm not trying to stir up anything and I'm not dwelling in the past, but you know, if something's still affecting you for, if something's still affecting you, like, you know, side effects from medicine, like if I took some medicine and then the side effects is still affecting me a year later, two years later, you can't be like, you leave it in the past. It's still affecting me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we got to understand slavery was. And Jim Crow laws and mass incarceration, which is modern day slavery. So we have 500 years of documented oppression and terrorism on the black community, actually documented. This isn't just me talking. So I hope that this these videos get people to understand that we have to start to do commerce within our community. Commerce is basically circulating black dollars so what we have to understand is we have a 1.2 trillion dollar spending power as black people in america so what does that mean um it's crazy that that they just passed the stimulus bill right and the fact that they did i can explain this better to you right now it's very random that they did but it's good you know that's how the universe works sometimes so you remember the stimulus check was 1.2 trillion dollars right y'all so that's how much we make annually. And the stimulus check fed everybody in the country. Black people ain't everybody in the country. Do they say we make up like 20%? So imagine if only 20% was getting that whole 1.2 trillion. We would have all got way more money. That's how much money we already make within our community. 1.2 trillion. That's the actual number. So it's like I said, it's funny that they put out the stimulus check that, that was that much. That's how much we make in America by ourselves as black Americans. We're the richest black people on the planet. So this is my point. We could buy hospitals. We could buy, it's countries, it's countries in the world, right? That don't even make $1.2 trillion. Israel makes like, I think a few billion a year and they got military. They got their own country. They got schools, they got hospitals, they got all of that. And they don't even make what we make as black Americans. So what we have to understand is black people in America is that our spending power alone is enough if we just circulated the money. And that's what this channel is about, is enough to already liberate our people. So that is a very big thing. You understand what I'm saying? Like we have to really wrap our minds around that and um, understand that, you know, there's a group of people you know, that had economic advantages that we weren't able to get for over 500 years. And we have to use what we have today, which is that $1.2 trillion. We have to use that to help ourselves. It's because imagine, you know, and where this is not, you know, like I said, this is documented. Imagine running a race for 500 years and you weren't even able to run. I was just held back in chains for 500 years. You was able to run as far as you could and you got uh, bonuses and also some of the perks I was supposed to get. You know, and that's what we're talking about when we're talking about the, the racial inequality gap in America. You know, we weren't able to give our kids no stocks. We weren't able to give our kids a house, leave them houses, leave them any money. 
We weren't able to buy stocks for ourselves. We weren't able to have a job that we were paid for, I should say, because we were slaves, right? So we weren't able to get a paycheck. So my point is we weren't able to circulate our wealth. And that's what they knew they were doing. They were stopping us. That's how you stop a people. You stop their history and you stop their wealth. That's the two ways you destroy a people. So we have to understand that that is basically what has happened to us. You know, it's a saying, uh, it's my saying actually. So uh, work equals love, love equals money. You only work for shit or for people that you like, you know, if, you, if it's your house and you going to work every day, you're doing this because you love to come home and, and you love your family and you love whatever you're doing, whether it's your car you're paying for, you love it and you're working for it. So you work for something you love and you receive the money for stuff that you work for. So what they did was they took our love away by taking our money away. You understand? So you got to understand the direct relation in that. They took it away from you. They took your love away from you by taking your work away. So they threw away your balance as a human being off. You understand what I'm saying? Because you only work for stuff that you love. Because once you get done working, you get your money, you go give it to the people that you love or pay for something. You see what I'm saying? So you got to understand the, the uh, psychological, um, you know, connection there to work and love. You understand? So they took your love away by making you work for free and making you a slave and all this other here, selling your, selling your children away, you know, killing our babies, you know. So that's not the topic for today. Let's leave that alone. Literally not the topic. I was just giving an example. But this... Today, I will be actually talking about commerce and stocks. Actually, not even commerce. We'll be talking about stocks. So if anybody wants to get into the stock market, this is the video for you. I'll be doing much more videos after today. I'll be revealing my stock portfolio, showing you how much I've made. Uh, I'll show you what kind of stocks to buy. And I'll show you something that I bought. So I'm going to be, you know, it's going to get lit. So... Blue chip stocks is today's vocabulary word. Blue chip stocks. Write it down. Give you a second. The blue chip stocks, right? Everybody know. I know the people that know about stocks are saying it right now. I already know you know. But, okay, so blue chip stocks are basically the only kind of stocks you ever want to buy if you're a new investor. See how easy that is? Blue chip stocks. Now, the way you identify blue chip stocks are companies that have been around for over 10 years at least that have been having people constantly buy from them and they've constantly been growing for over 10 years. That's a blue chip stock, something that's almost foolproof. Like the professionals have laid it, labeled this blue chip stocks. It's not me labeling. It's the, it's the people like Donald Trump. Like the, those are the people that label the Donald Trump, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. You know, these are the kind of people that have all this money in the world. They the ones that, they the ones that label stocks, blue chip stocks because they know that they're, safe. So you can best believe these people ain't about to lose their money. So that is a definition of a blue chip stock. And you can Google blue chip. You can't put it on Robinhood or any of the apps that you buy stocks from. I would use Robinhood because that's what I use. Uh, Weeble is good too. I hear M1 Finance. I don't know. It's a lot of them, but I use Robinhood. So on Robinhood, on no thing, you on no app, you can search blue chip stocks. You have to search the actual company like Walmart or Apple or Disney or Tesla now is technically a blue chip stock or old realty. It's so many different blue chip stocks, but that's the beauty of it. Think about getting into a stock market where all of these professionals have already labeled everything. If, if it's a whole list of everything and they like, okay, blue chip, not blue chip, not, no, no, no. Okay. That's a blue chip. So they've already listed everything that you should be, you know, invested in. And you can see, you can see it with your own eyes. Like, it's not like it's some company you never heard of. The only blue chip stocks, they're all out there are like Apple, and Disney shit, you know, stuff that we already know has been around for a long time. So that's an example of a blue chip stock. And ETFs are even safer than blue chip stocks. Like I said, this is the kind of stuff that people like Donald Trump, Jeff Bezos, et cetera, Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk, you know, these are the kind of, you know, billionaire, that's the kind of stock they put their money into because it's so safe and you know you're not going to lose your money. So... If, you know, just believe me, they ain't going to lose their money for nobody. So an ETF, let me explain an ETF. And on my next video, I'll be showing you different ETFs and blue stock. I'm going to just get through it because I know you ain't trying to just hear me talking. I ain't even pull up no screens yet. I'm just, this is just my introductory. Sorry for all the talking. 
But uh, so uh, let me just explain ETFs and then I'll actually be showing you what it is on the next one. In the next video after that, I'll be showing you my portfolio. So stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, an ETF is a company, or not a company, it's not one company, actually. That's, that's the difference. A blue chip stock is one company. An ETF is multiple companies. So imagine an index, a fund that's funded towards a hundred different blue chip stock companies that's all reputable because they wouldn't be in the fund if they weren't reputable. That's what you got to understand about ETF. So that's how you know it's the most safest way to put your money because even though blue chip stocks are safe, you know, technically anything can, can, uh, you know, go bankrupt or anything. So let's say Apple was in one of your ETFs and Apple just out of nowhere went bankrupt. They will replace it with another thing like Sprint or Samsung right immediately, boom, and take it off the list. And none of your money will be affected because they switched out the bad stock that died with a better stock. So ETFs are a never ending fund of money that never died because it's stockbrokers constantly taking ones out and putting them in if they go bad so you never lose your money. Now, if you put your money in one stock and it go down, you just lost all your money. ETFs, it's almost impossible for that to happen. So for anybody that's really, really skeptical, go for ETFs. And blue chip stocks are still good too. Trust me, I know, like I said, that's just hypothetical. Johnson & Johnson ain't going to work. Target ain't going to work. Walmart ain't going to work. Apple ain't going nowhere. These are examples of blue chip stocks. Disney's not going anywhere. Netflix isn't going anywhere. Those are blue chip stocks. Now, if I say some, I could say some off company you never heard of that's worth 75 cent. I wouldn't say put no money in there because it's probably not going to be around in two, three years and you lose all your money. That's the difference. So I really, truly hope this was a very informative video, everybody. And I really appreciate you guys. I'm very happy right now. You know, I really appreciate this. And I will be doing much more videos on history and economics because, like I said, they're both important. And one is not more important than the other. We need both because of the 500 years of our people being deprived economically and of their history. And that combination of things is with the residual effects of, of the black community. Like I said, if you took some medicine, you still have side effects. And it, like, like, cause they tell us don't, oh, don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on history. We still got side effects from it. So if a doctor gave me some medicine and I got side effects two years later and I'm complaining about it, I'm not complaining about nothing. I still got side effects. So those are the side effects of what happened. And that's what this channel is here to liberate us from and free us from. So we can have our own infrastructure, our own country, our own gold back, our own diamonds back, our own police force, our own military, our own gas stations, our own grocery stores, all of that. Because we deserve it. Don't we? Hello, I'm Joshua Williams, and let's get to these blue chip stocks like I was saying. This is the Robinhood app and what it looks like. Uh, I would show you, you know, my investing and how much money I have into the stock market, but I don't want to show you just yet because I'm going to do a whole separate video about that. So let's get to it. Um, I'm doing very well, though. FYI. Uh, let's go. Let's get to it, though. Okay, so those are some stocks that I own right there. As you can see, there's numbers in front of the shares showing you that I own that many shares of these companies and you know so that's my company that I own. i'm gonna do a whole video on all of that how much money i have into the stock market which companies that i own why i own them so but we're gonna start with blue chip stocks and etfs today okay like comment subscribe please uh so this is my watch list as you can see it says i'm watching 138 companies most of these are all blue chip stocks. Uh, if I if you make a watch list, make watch lists of good companies, like companies that's been around for a long time. That's what a blue chip stock is. Stuff like Apple, Disney, AT and T, Walmart, Adobe, Comcast. You know, Sprint. Uh, not even Sprint. I'm tripping. Not Sprint. Uh, uh, Verizon. You know. These are good. Wix, GoDaddy, American Airlines. These are all on my watch list. I have 130 something companies that I'm watching. I haven't bought all these. I probably got about, uh, uh, sorry. I probably got about a, just a few companies that I own. Uh, I probably have like around 15. 
you know, I don't have 138 companies that I own. That's actually not really a smart thing, unless you have that much money. But if you don't really have, super, uh, like, you know, you're not a millionaire, it's, it's good to keep it between 10 and 20 stocks so you can keep on investing consistently inside of those stocks. So these are all good companies blue because i don't pick out anything that's not good so as you can see that's tesla apple general motors google facebook microsoft netflix docusign american airlines shopify wix godaddy you know these are all very very lows raytheon technologies these are all very 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 reputable companies these are blue chip stocks at&t verizon Ford, T-Mobile, Home Depot, Walgreens, Walmart. These are all examples of blue chip stocks. Visa, you know, uh, these are all examples of blue chip stocks. So let me go into um, how to read stocks and why would you want to buy them. So let's go to Apple. Apple, okay. This is a perfect stock to do a review on real quick. So you can understand how to even read the stock market. So as you can see, um, this is the price that it's at trading at right now. Now, if you go down here with any stock, you can track how much it has been moving within the last week, within the last month, within the last three months, within the last year. So let's see how much Apple. So a year ago, let's see how much Apple was worth and how much it is now. As you can see, it says February. Let me get up close so you can see it. February 2020, it was lowest, you know, March 2020, it was as low as $62. That was like a few months ago. So it went up within a year all the way. 91. See how the timeline just keep going? Hit 100 around what time? Hit 100 around july so in three months it almost doubled in price from march and it just keep going up and now a year later we're gonna go to the date today means just today it's not gonna go any farther back than today see it says a.m it doesn't say dates up there so yeah that's how you track how much it was worth this is today's open that's these are the statistics every every stock will have these statistics right under it and as you can see every stock will have this so let me go through the statistics which you so you know how to read it this is how you gauge if you want a company okay um this one opened at 128 apple opened at 128 today so at today it uh it opened at 128 probably still oh no so it went up two dollars in today and today's high it was at 131 so it was actually higher than 130 so that's what that means like uh this is the fluctuation that's where it fluctuated it went between 128 and 131 that's just for today and as low as one oh yeah i already said the 128 yeah so that this is today's low this is today's high this is the open the low is how the so the lowest it got was 128 for with 49 cent you know um that's basically today's open. So it never got too lower than it's open, which is good. And out only got a little higher, as you can see. 130. And you know, Apple's a very good company. Now let's go over here. Oh, well, let's keep going down so I don't confuse you so we can go in order. So 52 week high means the highest it was in the last year. 52 week low means the lowest it was in a year. And as you can see, remember we went back to a year right here. You go back, you push one year so you can see. It was is low. It was about that low, as you can see. See, it was around like fifty something. See, fifty something dollars. March twenty third, fifty six dollars. Probably went lower than that. They're just not showing you. But you see, it says fifty three dollars a year ago. Yes, that's true. It was that low, and it's gotten as high as one thirty eight, which is basically around its price now. So uh, let's see where it was at one thirty eight. Probably like right here looks like, huh? Oh no, probably way over here. Uh, three months. One thirty-six. So around December 
28th, it was at 136. So that is the yearly high, which you can see right here. Which you can see right here. And that's the yearly low. So the volume just means how many people are trading this stock today. So 65 million people are trading this stock today. That is a lot of people that let you know Apple's a very good stock and usually it has around 124 million people. Now, this is a very important thing. The market cap is how much the company's worth. Now, you see this T at the end? Usually, you'll see companies with an M or a B. If it was 2.23 M, that would be 2.23 million. If it was 2.23 B, that would be 2.23 billion. But this is 2.23 T. That means Apple is right now is worth $2.3 trillion as a company. Not too many companies on the planet. I think Amazon is the only other company that's in the trillions. Most companies are in the billions or in the millions. So this is one of the most richest companies on the planet to date. This is the last thing that's important. I'm not going to really touch on the P-E ratio is the dividend yield. Dividends are very important and something that you want to buy with every company or you want to make sure every company has. Um... A dividend is the amount of money that they pay you. So let's say Apple, if Apple was worth $130, let's say they pay a dividend of like $1 per share every month, though, because the dividend is every month or every two months or sometimes four. Um, so they give you a certain amount of money per share. So let's say you had a thousand shares and they give you a dollar per share a month. That means you're getting a thousand dollars a month in just dividends. And let's say this stock went up to like $500 one day. So not only did you make a $400 profit from the stock going up per share, so that's $400 per share. And let's say you had a 100 shares or a 1,000 shares, that's 400 times that number. Then every month you're still getting this. That is a constant number. So even if the stock doesn't go up, the dividend is something that you can always bank on that you'll be getting. That's Most companies have a dividend. Now, you want a company that has a number in front of the decimal that's a good dividend. If you see a, a 2.6 or a 3.6 or a 4.6, that means they're paying a lot of money per share each month. And if you go down, you can see the you can see the about of Apple, you know, and it shows you all about what Apple is about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know their headquarters in California. Did anybody know that? Headquarters in California founded in 1976 that's cool didn't know none of that so uh that is apple stock and that's how you read any stock so let's go to a couple more blue chip stocks so you can understand uh let's uh show you the computer actually at i'm already i'm on my robin hood account on the computer too so actually at&t is right on the screen at&t is another example of a blue chip stock you see how you can track it right here too same stuff if you go back to one week you know, one month, one, three months, one year, it'll do the same thing. It'll show you. See, AT&T don't move too much. That's why AT&T is a pretty good company. It went as low as $20, $26, $29, it stayed at the same range, even though we're technically, you know, the stock market wasn't doing good. So you can see AT&T, you know, it's pretty consistent, you know. That's a, another example of a blue chip stock. Another example of a blue chip stock would be something like Disney. Disney is an example of a blue chip stock. So let me go ahead and type Disney on this phone. Get it back in front of you. Uh, Disney. Let's go to Disney. So you can just see. Probably go to type in D. Usually when you search it, you search it. Let me uh, teach you since we it's a teaching moment. Go back to the, uh, go back to the, see, down here is the search button. So you just, you know, search any company. If it does, it'll pop up if it's on the stock market. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. So search and then type in D for Disney. And it should top, pop up. Any big company will pop up if it's if it's big. Trust me. You type in the first letter, it'll pop up. Type in A, Apple, Amazon, <laughs> Adobe, all of that's gonna pop up first. You know. All right. So um, 
as you can see, it's the same, it's different numbers, but same statistics. You know, everything has an open, everything has a today's high, everything has a today's low. So today's open was 174, is at 176. So, you know, that's in just today. It's not going to be too much of a difference. If you go down here to the 52 week high and the 52 week low, that should be a difference because that's a year difference. So you see a year ago is at $80 a share. So you would have made a $100 per share if you would have bought this a year ago, nigga. See what I'm saying? Like, that's a whole, that's a whole, uh, excuse my language, but you know what I'm saying? That's a whole, that's a lot of money. Let's say you, you had a thousand shares a day and you went up a hundred dollars a share, a thousand times a hundred. That's how much you made. Okay. Um, 4 million people are average value in this company. So that's how many people per day share this company, uh, or, uh, buy this company, I should say, uh. And exchange this company and in all of that so that this is the same statistic the market cap is a B so that means billion so this is 318 billion the, the uh, dividend ratio is only a four point I mean not even a four point nine four point nine would be good this is a 0 0.49 so that's not that good but let me show you right here why this is a, a good example of a good dividend this is a C on AT&T hey this is AT&T uh, I'm still on there you know, I still search them right now. Uh, right down here, you see the dividend right here. Dividend, dividend right here. Look down here. Let me just scoot it closer. Right there. See, it says 7.2. That's a very high dividend. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of companies you want to invest in. Like O Realty have a high dividend. You want high dividend yield companies. You can look up that too. Blue chip stocks and high dividend yield companies. And also ETFs, that's gonna be the last thing that we talk about today, is ETFs. Uh, so ETFs are even more safe than blue chip stocks. So blue chip stocks would be examples, like I said, AT&T, and you can look these up. They're not called, it's not like that's the, uh, that's just the, the, the nickname for these stocks, you know. These are all blue chip stocks, meaning they're very reputable stocks. Uh, AT&T, Disney, Apple, Walmart, Lowe's, Comcast, you know, uh, Adobe, Microsoft, um, it's a, so many more. Like I keep saying, you have to Google blue chip stocks and see what the professionals tell, because it's it's hundreds of them. You know, I'm just giving you a few. It's many more that, it, you know, you want to look into. So blue chip stocks are the way to go and ETFs are, are the way to go. So let's type in ETFs on my phone. might pop up right index etfs look it actually has a whole category for it see how these are the categories etfs are very 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 useful and very needed etf you're a stock investor etfs so you see all the etfs pop up i put an etf look how many pop up it's not a game this is what you want to do if you're going to really invest and you really want to put some money in, you don't want to lose it and you like, okay, I just want to keep this and let it grow. And even though you, you ain't looking for no fast growth, you're looking for some slow, but for sure. And it's not in, not no risk involved. Like you're not going to lose it for sure. These are the companies you invest in ETFs. You know, you see this, this is the whole stock market. This ETF is for the whole stock market. So every company in the stock market is invested into this ETF. So all, the, for you to lose money on this ETF, that means everything in the stock market would have to go bad. They're not going to lose their money. So you always go for ETFs, um, preferably Vanguard ETFs. As you can see, these are, you know, you see the statistics. I already taught you about all this. So, and it has a pretty good dividend, too. Uh, let me go ahead and this computer is getting low. I understand, computer. Okay. Let's uh, continue, I guess. But yes, you know, just trying to let you guys know some Dow Jones. Okay, I think I own this one yet. Yeah. Go ahead and put this on my watch list. I actually just found some, y'all know. Okay, see up here? That's how you put some on your watch list. So that was a teaching moment. And I'm about to add it to my watch list. Next up, I actually have two watch lists. I didn't show you the other one. But yeah, I just added that to my watch list. It's a pretty good one. I might acquire that. Who knows? Um... Let's go back to the ETFs, though.
ETFs. So look how many different ETFs there are though. That was just the one for the, so remember the SPY, the uh, S&P 500 is the one for everything in the stock market. That's the ticker symbol. Everything has a ticker symbol. That's just how you type it in and it pops up. But, you know, you'll learn more about that. I'll do a video on ticker symbols. It's just the, everything has a ticker symbol. It's three letters, maybe four at the most. Sometimes it's one actually, or two letters. But it's no more than four. Sometimes it's one and it's the symbol of the company. Um, all these are ETFs though. You know, these are ETFs for different things, bonds, you know, all kinds of things. So this is the example of you saving your money and you're not, and you want Van, let's, let's, type, let's type in Vanguard too. So you understand you want Vanguard ETFs. Van, hold on, Van. Okay, you see all these Vanguard? Vanguard, hold on. Oh, damn, hold on, hold on. Give me one second, I'm tripping. Trying to look at the camera. Okay, Van. There we go. Trying to delete stuff and it was typing. <laughs> Anyways, I ain't gonna type in the whole Vanguard because it's so popular. You see the VU. This is actually the. Uh, uh, this is actually another one that has the whole S and P five hundred. The S and P. Whenever you hear S and P five hundred, that means the entire stock market. So this has the entire stock market in in uh, its investment portfolio. So you'll never lose money by investing in this uh, ETF, statistically. And what I mean by statistically is mean pretty much you ain't gonna ever lose no money. You feel me? So uh, let me go back to Vanguard ETFs. Okay, so you see all these different Vanguard. So if I if I was you, if I did buy ETF, any of, I'm and I'm not playing with you, any of these Vanguard ETFs, you gonna make your money. Or not make your money. I'm not gonna say you're gonna make a lot, but you ain't gonna lose none. This is safe. This is these things don't go nowhere. They don't go bankrupt. They don't lose value. This is something that's gonna be here for you for 10 years, 20 years down the line. Vanguard ETFs. Remember, it's called V A N G U uh, A R D, and then put in ETFs, and all of these will pop up. And I can show you right now. These two at the top are very good. These three actually. I actually own this one. As you can see, I have one share of this one. I'm about to get a lot more. It's, see, it says one share. So I actually own this one. This one right here. These three at the top. Actually, B and D, all of these are good. I keep saying, I'm saying like this is good. They're all good. I have this on my watch list. All of these are actually on my watch list. As you can see, see the checks? If it wasn't no checks, you see? So I'm about to prove my point. You see how this don't have a check and that don't have a check? And all these have checks? That means I'm watching those companies. That's how good they are. They're all on my watch list, except these two. You feel me? And I should have those on there. This is the stock market for Europe. I'll probably go ahead and put that on just so I can know what's going on in Europe. You see, it's only $61. This is the stock market of all of Europe. So it's not going to go anywhere, you guys. You know what I'm saying? So please, please, if you're going to invest for the first time, go for ETFs and go for blue chip stocks and i'm this is a very good lesson i hope you guys learned a lot from this man i'm telling you this is very good information i am not kidding i i wouldn't i'd give my daughter the same information this is very good information so this is my watch list again this is an example of a lot of different companies you know that you can put on your watch list you know you go right here you can create a watch list and then you just add all the companies like I showed you, you go to the top left, right corner and click that little circle. It'll add it right to it and you watching it. And every time you open it, you can see it's fluctuating. You like one day you might be like this going up. I want to buy this. And then up here, you got your company that you actually own. And I'm going to show you soon my wealth into the stock market. That's another video. Hold on, let me get that clear. It's a whole nother video. See, I'm not, I'm not showing you right now, but yeah, it's coming soon. And you can see this is my company's, that's my watch list. And that's the stock market. It's not that hard to be honest. So if you have any questions, let me know something. Appreciate y'all. Peace.